A very happy day to my dear students. I hope you all are fit, fine and healthy. I, Angel Singh, welcome you all to the online English classes for today. In class 6th, we have started with a chapter named Yuki and the Tsunami. This is a legend, a tale from Japan. As we all know that Japan is a earthquake prone area and many a times a lot of huge tsunamis have occurred there. This is a story related to Tsunami and Yuki. Yuki along with his friend Haru went on the mountain top to play. While they were playing with the frisbee, Yuki saw that Haru was distracted towards something. And when he asked Haru what happened, Haru pointed towards the sea. And they both saw that there was something unusual about the sea. It was different from uh, the other days that the sea used to be. Yuki was little bit in the remembrance of his grandfather. He came and he decided, he came to the notion that something terrible might happen. While he was watching towards the movement of the sea, as the sea was moving towards the horizon, it was hitting the rock at the higher levels. In this picture, we can see that many people that day, they were preparing for their New Year's celebration, the harvest. While the village was busy there and Yuki and Haru were observing the level of the sea. Here we see that Yuki decided to tell Haru that it was the tsunami that was about to happen. And suddenly when he saw, when he was watching people celebrating and making preparations for the New Year's Eve, a massive earthquake hit that area. This earthquake was different from as usual and they both fell off on their feet. Now Yuki was 100% sure that it was tsunami that his grandfather once told him about the scenario what could happen and all the things that could happen if a tsunami is going to come. Yuki decided that now he must make aware to the villagers about the tsunami. So he went down the hill and when he tried to convince the people about the tsunami, nobody paid any heed towards his warning. Rather than people were laughing at him, they were mocking him and some of them also scared him away for not to disturb them. He was be being an hindrance in the preparations of the New Year's Eve. But Yuki was adamant. He wanted and he decided that anyhow I have to save the life of these people. So he lit a torch and he burned down the area. All the rice harvest started to burn and all the ripened field of rice was burning and it was turning down into ashes. The scenario it was looking as if the rice fields were very angry. It was all red and orange there. In the meanwhile, Yuki shouted and asked the people to move towards the mountain. And without looking here and there, people started running towards the mountain to save their lives. Once they all reached the mountains, they all were very angry at Yuki. And they turned their angry eyes towards him. Before they could speak anything, again a massive thunderstorm occurred in the sea. Meanwhile, the sea was moving back towards the horizon. And when this thunderstorm occurred, many people started observing the sea. And within seconds, a massive wave came and it washed away the village. It washed away all the things that was present on that valley. And people were all stunned and they were all staring towards the rage of the sea. Massive waves and massive uh, water force destroyed their villages. When the sea came, became calm and cooled down, people could only see the debris of their houses. Then his father said that because of Yuki, they were all alive and they all thanked him. They even said that today they were going to celebrate only the rice harvest, but from now on they are going to celebrate life because Yuki had saved more than 400 people's life.
द लास्ट लाइन ऑफ द चैप्टर से इज दैट द चॉइसिस वी मेक शेप नॉट ओनली द कॉन्सिक्वेंसिस बट कैन ऑल्सो एड टू द वैल्यूज ऑफ अवर लाइफ we can't undo the past but we can always learn from it choices are the building blocks of our lives and despite all the mistakes one makes a new day brings with itself new opportunities and a whole new world of choices remember that the choice is yours it has always been never think of the consequences be brave enough to face anything that comes out of life make good choices ultimately you are the one who will be affected by it it is your future that will be affected by your choices and here we have seen that the choice made by yuki to burn down the rice harvest was correct though the consequences were wrong at the first place people were angry towards him but towards the end they all celebrated lives together thank you so much children